superorganism is when a number of single organisms work together as one collective being. These are our five examples of this crazy phenomenon. Number five, a honeybee hive. We like this superorganism because it makes honey. It's also a classic example of a superorganism since every one of those thousands of bees has a job that fits into a specific need of the hive as a whole. Number four, red tide. Scientists have already learned that single-celled organisms can communicate with each other, seen here, to determine how the group as a whole should act. Current research is looking into whether large groups of phytoplankton, also known as red tide, are communicating in such a way. If we can disrupt that communication, then maybe we can minimize the damage red tide unleashes on the environment. Number three, imported fire ant colonies. This stinging superorganism has the same queen-dominated organization as a beehive, but it's invaded most of the southeastern United States. If expansion models are correct, it has the potential to invade further north and west, possibly even into Washington, D.C. and Oregon. Number two, the naked mole rat. This beauty, along with the Damaraland mole rat, are the only two mammals whose social system matches closely with a beehive or an ant colony. They have a queen who mates with one to three males, while the rest of the mole rats look for food, maintain the colony, and take care of the young. Number one, you. Trillions of microorganisms live inside your body, helping you grow and stay alive. They help digest the burrito you had for lunch and keep your elbows moisturized. Because of the way these microorganisms interact, many scientists believe that a human and all of the microbes on board should be considered one big superorganism. For Discovery News, I'm James Williams.